Good morning. Just a little morning motivation. And today's episode is on not letting people piss in your pool. You got to understand that any doubt, any fear, any anger, anything that people project on you, it could get in your pool. And one little drop of pee could ruin your whole pool. You know that once anything gets in water, it stays in water and it gets diffused into the water. So when people put negativity, anger, their feelings about you, emotions into your pool, it's going to mess your pool up. And now the whole pool is contaminated. So you really have to be mindful of who you let swimming in your pool and who you let coming in your life. Because one wrong drop could ruin your whole pool. And now you got to call the cleaners and put bleach in and close the whole pool down just because you let one person contaminate your thoughts. So you have to be mindful what you let into your mind. You really have to stand at the front door of your mind and understand what you letting in. I really stand guard on every emotion that comes and I'm very mindful of who I'm around and when I'm around because my empathetic nature right now is I'm attracted to everything and everybody. So all types of emotions are coming in this times that we're in. It's just something about 2023 and the years that's coming that people's emotions are real tied to each other. People don't know how to let each other go. So you really need to understand like who you letting into your pool and who do you let into your life because one wrong drop, one bad thought, one seed of doubt could ruin the whole pool. And especially if you somebody pissing in somebody's pool, why are you hating on other people? If you feel the need to hate on other people, you missing something in your life. You feeling inadequate. You feeling like you need to do something. You're not hating on that person. You're hating on what they're doing. You need a mission. You need a path. You need something to do. Idle minds is the devil's playground. If you don't have things to do, you don't have goals, you don't have dreams, you don't have something you're building, you're just going to be feeling lifeless because life is about building. Life is about setting things in motion. You can only go up. The only thing that doesn't have a heartbeat and doesn't move is things that's dead. Listen, the smartest people and the most successful people and the people with all the ideas in the world, you know where they at? In a graveyard. All right? You go to any graveyard. You could fill up people who said, I was going to do this then. I was going to live my dreams. I was going to do this. But they never did it. And you're one of those people. You're going to be one of those people with regrets. You're going to be 80, 90 years old with regrets. Like, I should have did this. I should have did that. I should have listened to Corpy. But I understand. That's why I'm here. That's why I tell you this every single day. Do not let nobody contaminate your pool with their doubt and their fears and their emotion. Feel no fear. The only fear you should ever feel is none. You should never feel fear. Fear is an imagination concept that we made up. That didn't make no sense. Listen, fear is just a piece of your imagination telling your imagination that you're fearing something. There's nothing there. You're making up scenarios. You're making up shadows. You're seeing ghosts. You're seeing illusions. You need to stop doing that because you're letting other people's doubts. How many of the doubts that you have inside of yourself came from somebody else? Came from your parents, uh, your friends, your family, your relationships, uh, your teacher. All of those doubts that you have inside of you, they're probably not even yours. So you living and you're walking around with all this doubt and all this guilt from all these other people who cast judgments on you. I don't care what nobody say about me. I don't care about who cast judgment. I don't care. That's your opinion. Everybody's entitled to one. You could keep it, eat it, shove it, um, make leftovers out of it. Take your opinion and have fun with it because I don't care. I don't want it. I do not want it. Stop giving people your opinion and they don't ask for it. Y'all got this funny habit of giving people your opinion when they do not ask for it. All right? Can we just be mindful of it? When somebody asks for your opinion, give it. Y'all be so prone to give advice that y'all just give people bad advice because y'all don't live your life. Stop giving people life advice. You don't got a life. All right? You gotta be outside. I'm outside every day. Y'all see me every day. I'm the same person every day. I'm outside. Look, I'm outside. I'm outside. No sleeves today. It's hot. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be outside today. Right after I shoot this and edit it. Because you gotta understand, you have to be in motion. Don't let nobody pee in your pool. Don't let nobody contaminate your thoughts. Don't let nobody contaminate your life. Don't let nobody contaminate your emotions, all right? Contamination spills over. Y'all seen COVID. We had to wear masks. We just stopped wearing masks and y'all all hyped to be all up under each other again. No, still, let's socially distance. Let's be socially distant. Let's bring that back. Y'all forgot about um, COVID policy. Socially distant. Let's say socially distant from each other. Because you need to be mindful. Do not let people pee in your pool. All right? And if they do, charge them for the cleanup. You know, just be letting people pee in your pool and doodle in your pool. And then they walk out like, thanks. You, you are not a bathroom. You, you are not a porta potty. You remember the Dave Chappelle skit? Your body's a porta potty. You're not that. All right? Stop letting people pee in your pool. Just a little more motivation for y'all. Get a mug.